What is up, Free to Play Nation? I'm the Free to Play Padawan. I love Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, but I hate spending money on mobile games. And I believe you can grow fast and have fun without even spending a dime. And today I am very excited to start working on my Imperial Troopers. Now, I have spent the last two or three days getting these guys up to the stars that I've earned so far and getting them to level 60 and gear 7. Now I want to start with them at this gear level, gear 7 plus nothing, because I am putting all of my focus into my fleets. So Tarkin, Soldier, Sunfac, and Spy are getting all of the love right now with the gear. Let's go ahead and speaking of, go ahead and put this piece on Spy. We just got the ability to do that one, so that's good. And that's paying off. It's paying off to put all my focus right here, and let me show you why. I am in a shard with lots of hyperdrives, and yet, today, I was able to get rank 9 in the fleet arena. Just because I was climbing during my payout, and I'm starting to be able to beat some of these hyperdrives, that haven't focused a lot on fleets. A lot of people buy the hyperdrive, in my shard anyway, they buy the hyperdrive for the characters and they're focusing on arena, so they're just using whatever the hyperdrive gave them in fleet arena. Well, at the beginning, that was still too hard for me to beat with my Geo fleet. Just whatever the hyperdrive gave them was still too hard for me to beat, but now my Geos are starting to get stronger the Vulture Droid is starting to get stronger, and I have added Anakin to the list. So let's go ahead and claim these juicy 200 crystals. Anakin's ship is pitiful. It is pitiful, but it still does something. So I'm working on Anakin as a pilot right now as well. It's two star The ship is two stars, level 31, level 1 abilities, but it's still it's doing something. It's giving me another reinforcement that I can call in. That's uh, it's my fourth, it's my fifth best ship. So I have Vulture Droid, Spy, Soldier, and Sunfac. And look at this, Spy is already to six stars, headed towards seven stars. Soldier is headed towards six stars. But anyway, this isn't about the fleets. I just was excited and I wanted to share that with you guys. This is about the Imperial Troopers. So let's look at the Imperial Troopers and let's talk about why I have chosen the troopers that I've chosen. There's two main trooper teams. One of them is the Iden Versio team where you want Iden, Range, Storm, Snow, and Magma, or Stark. You, you want some troopers that don't have the leadership ability and are not droids. And then you've got the Veers trooper team. Veers, Gideon, Piet, Dark Trooper, and another trooper. There's a lot of good options, uh, including Stark. But what I'm doing is I'm using Iden as the fifth trooper for the Veers team so that I can level her up and eventually split the troopers into two teams for the raid and in 3v3s and in uh, eventually in 5v5 I'm going to have two full trooper teams, the Aiden team and the Veers team. But I decided to go with the Veers team first, so we're going to be running Aiden with Veers, which really nerfs Aiden quite a lot. But we're not going to be running her in the lead, we're just going to be using her as a support uh, tune to... Uh, basically give the protection up to the team is going to be her primary purpose. So let's, we don't have any mods on these guys. I'm going to leave them at this gear level to start with. Let's try to put some mods on these guys and let's start with the one that we want to be the fastest, which is either Piet or Gideon. I would like to put my fastest mods on Piet. Now, if you guys remember, I'm farming all health mods still. Still, I am only farming health mods, which means that how I'm going to mod these guys right now is not how they're going to stay modded forever. But I would like to get them up and running with the, the fastest, hardest hitting mods that I have so that I can see if they can do some good in Galactic War to help me through because I'm starting to struggle. I still have made it every time except for once. Made it all the way through. My Bastila Jedi team is doing work. The Phoenix are not really doing work anymore. They're, uh, I stopped gearing them and they have stopped being able to cut it. But between my Geo team and my Basila team, I'm able to get through the Galactic War. But I'd like a third team, so I'm going to try to get these troopers up and running. So we know for sure on Piet 
we want a speed arrow. So let's see what kind of speed arrows we have. I want to say only unassigned mods. Speed arrow. And let's sort by... What does he need? I mean, I guess offense? Survivability? I don't know. We'll go with offense. Let's see if we can find our highest offense speed arrow. That looks pretty good. Health, offense, offense, defense. Okay, so we're going to do this, this one. And we're going to assign that. What do we want for Piet on the triangle? I'm guessing damage. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and make this default. The triangle for Veers, I mean for Piet. Let's just do it this way. Let's just search for speed in the secondaries and see what our fastest triangle is. Sort by speed. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Fastest triangle is 12 speed with offense. Okay. Hey, we'll take it. We will take it. All right. Fastest cross is offense with potency and speed. This, this is looking pretty good for our boy Piet. Now, I don't have speed mods yet, which is obviously how I'm going to be modding these guys eventually. But this is working out. We're just putting our fastest, our fastest mods on him. 10 speed here. And a lot of these mods are going to be slice worthy once we get the slicing. They got offense, potency, health. These are good mods, you guys. I've been getting lucky. Okay, so we got him up to 218 speed. Not bad for a gear 7. All right. So he's done. Let's do Gideon next. So we're going to give him the next fastest mods. I'm low on ability materials or I would be upgrading all these guys' ability materials. Okay. So what do we want on Gideon? He he could use... Um, I know we want a speed arrow. But he could use damage. He could use potency for his days. Or he could use... Let's see here. Let's just sort it by damage again. And see what we get. Offense percentage, defense protection, tenacity. That's not great. This is better because it's got crit chance and offense. Let's do this one. Once again, these are not going to be the final mods. These are just going to be the mods for now. Okay, so now we are going to say any primary stat, just give me speed, and we're going to sort it by the fastest mod. So the fastest triangle is going to be a protection triangle with a good bit of offense. We'll take it. All these mods are going to be pulled off of these guys and given to somebody else later. But here's an offense cross with 10 speed. I love it. I love it. Now, 10 speed, these, these are not good mods for later on. But for right now, I will freaking take it. I will take it. All right, let's put this mod on him. Now, this is potency. We don't want a potency set. And this is offense. I haven't farmed these mods, but sometimes events give you these mods. Um... So those are nine speed. This is going to be five speed. We're really starting to hit the bottom of the barrel already on these mods. But that's okay. Piet being fast is a good thing. Gideon being not quite as fast is okay. 216 looks like he's what? Is he a little bit faster? I think he might be a little bit faster. I don't remember. Okay, now let's do our leader, Veers. Veers, I'm going to be using him as the one that Piet marks because his basic deals physical damage to the target enemy with a 40% chance to grant speed up for two turns to General Veers and a random Imperial Trooper ally who didn't have it. So that speed up is going to help the team go faster, so I want him using his basic. So because I want him using his basic a lot, I'm not going to make him as fast. I want to make him hit harder. So here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to try to get an offense primary arrow and see what our options are here. Do we have any speed on an offense primary arrow? Five speed. That's not good. But we have crit chance. Here's four speed. Let's see what else we have on this one. Defense and potency. I don't think Veers needs potency. Here's five speed. 
with protection. Protection would be good to help him stay alive when we mark him. This looks like the best one. Speed, crit chance, defense, and protection. Kind of a mix of what we need for him if we're going to be marking him. So let's go ahead and assign that one. Now we're going to want crit chance, crit damage, or offense as the triangle primary here. So let's see what our options are. Let's sort it by speed. Because why not get whatever speed we can? Here's an offense triangle with six speed. Everything else is terrible. That's a bad mod. That is a bad mod. Here's crit chance with protection, defense, and offense. All right, do we have any crit damage? He doesn't need potency. Here's two hits of offense plus an offense primary. I like this one. We're gonna do this one. Because we got offense, 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 speed, and a little bit of defense to help him survive when he gets hit. Hopefully with the Imperial Troopers, hopefully they're not gonna get hit, right? That's the idea. But uh, oh, he's, that, that's too much potency to put on a character who doesn't need potency. So let's go to the next one. Crit chance, offense, defense. That's all stuff that makes sense. On an offense primary cross, it's a beautiful thing. All right, there are no offense primaries on the circles. So we'll just sort by offense here. And here we have offense, offense, speed, and defense. We'll take it. So he's not going to be very fast. But hopefully he's going to hit harder than the rest. This looks good. Health, offense, and speed. We're spending a lot of credits. We're spending a lot of credits, but we're making these guys into something usable for Galactic War and beyond. All right, nine speed, 43 offense, offense percentage, health. This is good. This is a good mod. It's not good for speed, but everything else is good for what we're trying to do. All right. Look at that. We only added like 30 speed to him. Yikes. He's not going to take a lot of turns. He's not going to take a lot of turns. <laughs> Who's next? Who is next? Aiden and range. Hmm. Let's do Aiden. Now y'all going to have to forgive me because I do not know Aiden's kit very well. But I do know that speed is good for every character. And I do know that Aiden wants potency. And I imagine health so that you can get more uh, protection from the protection up. So let's do speed primary arrows. We're going to sort it by potency this time. And there we go. We got some potency in there. To help her land her debuffs. This time we're going to have any primary stat. Sort it by potency. We've got three speed. Yikes. I don't like that, but it's offense primary. That's good. That's probably why I kept it. And two hits of potency. Four speed, two hits of potency, and a health primary. Let's go for the offense, because she is an attacker, right? She has a chance to hit hard. That mod will not get sliced, though. That mod will not get sliced. Okay, what do we have here? Potency primary with five speed. Do we have two potency mods that we could use? Here's a potency mod with crit chance. Here's a potency mod. Oh, it's a defense primary. Why do I even have this? I should not have upgraded that. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Okay, so this is a potency primary with five speed. Let's see what the rest of it does. Tenacity and health. All right, we'll go with this. We're just gonna run a pot potency, uh, potency item for now. Good, good hits of potency here. Not a lot of speed. Do we have anything with more speed? No, these don't, no. Okay, so we're just gonna go with this. That's a lot of potency, 6.4% on a purple mod, I'll take it. That mod is also not gonna get sliced. So we're gonna have a pretty slow Aiden, it seems. So it looks like Aiden's probably gonna go second to last. Potency, speed, offense, that's good. And then what do we have here? Four hits of potency here. My gosh. And no, hardly any speed at all. I'd rather do this one with a couple extra speed. 
No, we're going to take this potency. We're going to put it on somebody because we leveled it up this far. We might as well take it the rest of the way and at least let it do some work for us. Put it some potency. So that gets her to 55% potency. Not a lot. <laughs> Not a lot of potency. 167 speed. At least she's faster than Veers. And we have one more. Range Trooper. How much power are they getting? 65... 54, 57, 61. If I can get them all above 6,000 power, then we can resave our roster for territory battles and it'll give us a team to use, although we probably won't be able to use it anywhere. It'll still be fun to have another team to use. Okay, Range Trooper, we're going to put speed on him. Unassigned. And what do I want on Range Trooper? Let's just do speed again, whatever's left over. Whatever's left over. This is the survivability mod. We'll take it. We will take it. We might have range as a backup to mark him in case we need to uh, keep Veers alive. Because you can change who's marked if you get the cooldowns on that ability, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, secondary speed sort by the fastest and there we go protection primary I would prefer health primaries because of the bonus protection is based on health however I'll take what I can get look at all this potency we can't put all that potency on somebody who doesn't need it although if we do if we want a potency mod No, we'll save that. Somebody somebody will need that mod. Somebody will need that mod. We're going for a lot of protection. So he's going to be our, oh crap, we need to mark him so that the team doesn't die guy. That's what he'll be. More potency. Forgive me if you if I'm, if I'm doing this wrong, but Range Trooper doesn't need potency, am I right? Let's see if we can find a health mod so we can at least make better use of our... Uh, at least make better use of our bonus protection somewhere. We don't want all protection. Although Aiden does re uh, does heal some protection, right? All right. That's a good bit of potency once again. Offense, offense. There we go. This is survivability. We'll go with this one. And here's some speed and survivability. All right. So we got him to 175. These are bad numbers, you guys. These are not great numbers. <laughs> but they're modded. We're going to take them into the Galactic War and see how they do. I'm excited, you guys. Are you excited? I'm excited. Let's go check them out. Galactic Battles. War. Hopefully they can beat this first team. It looks like kind of a pushover team. Vader looks like the only big threat here. We'll probably kill Vader and then Qui-Gon and then Luke and save the two tanks for less. That's probably what we'll try to do. All right, let's select a squad. We're going to go ahead and go to default. We're going to make a new squad. Create a new squad so that we have somewhere to pick it from. Because I like picking a squad from here instead of uh, turn it. Does, does placement order matter? We're going to be marking Veers. He's in the lead, so it doesn't matter where he goes. Um, we'll do it like this. Veers, Gideon, Piet, Iden, Range, and I have no reason for that. It's just what I wanted to do, so we'll do it that way. <laughs> Confirm the squad. Troopers. Not default troopers. Just troopers. Alright. Let's give them a try. go they all have a little bit of protection a little bit of health and a lot of love 
Come on, baby, load. I want to play. Okay, we're gonna go for Vader first. So we're gonna let's just slow down and make sure that at this level, I know what a lot of these abilities do at max level, but we're not at max level. So let's see what we can do here. We are going to give all allies offense up. Piet gains stealth. Inflict marked for two turns and one stack of inevitable failure on target other ally. These debuffs can't be copied. Inevitable failure. Gain one stack when using an ability or receiving damage from an enemy. When defeated, grant Piet the following bonuses. So he won't even assist with inevitable failure yet. So this... <sighs> let's see how it works. We'll try it on Beerus. If that's no good, we'll put it on range. All right, let's go ahead and control the situation. Yeah. All right, let's see if we use a basic. Does he assist? No, he does not. Hmm. Okay, so we need to get that ability up higher. Let's go ahead and throw an armor shred on Kanan because we're going to need that later. And what does this ability do at this level? Deal physical damage to all enemies, inflict vulnerable for two turns, dispel all buffs on the target enemy, and inflict healing immunity for two turns and stun for one turn. Okay, so the, the other part of it does not apply, but the healing immunity and stun does apply. So we're going to save this as a buff dispel in case one of these tanks taunts. So let's just go ahead and get some protection up so that we can mitigate any incoming damage and we'll get some more protection up. Try to mitigate some incoming damage here. All right, now let's go all in with the mass assist. All right, I am not liking inevitable failure on... Uh, on Veers. I think we're going to have to switch it to range because we made him a lot more survivable. They're doing good with the assisting though. Just a basic. Basic with range. Alright. Uh, just basic with Aiden. I should have done the days. Alright, we're going to save this for the next round. Just basic our way home here. Try to get our cooldowns ready for the next fight. Hopefully he taunts with his next turn. I think I'm going to have to put some more love into this team before they're going to really help me in Galactic War, you guys. I'm going to have to put a little more love into this team. This time we're going to try marking Range Trooper and see how that goes. I don't have a tank in this uh, lineup. Oh boy. We got a Yoda, an Ezra, and a Hunter. Those are all pretty good damage dealers. But these are the Imperial Troopers! We're gonna go in there and claim victory. Let's go, guys. The Imperial Troopers really come alive when you get their abilities maxed out, but some of their abilities are working already. All right, we're gonna try putting this on Range Trooper. And we're going to get some protection up. Some protection recovery on Veers. See, can we get a kill early and get some of the turn meter? Let's save control the situation. Go ahead and put an armor shred over here on Kanan. And just a basic might call an assist. It did. More protection up. And now let's see if we can go all in on Ezra. Excellent, he's dead. We got more turn meter rolling. Let's see, can we get a stun on Hunter? Dodged. Was she blinded or something? They all dodged it. All three of them. I mean, I know old Ben's leadership gives you evasion, but goodness gracious. All right, we don't want to go for old Ben right now. Let's see if we can dispel these buffs. Excellent. Uh, control the situation, get a mass assist. Let's go ahead and mark Range Trooper again, because that worked out really nicely. Let's get an AoE Daze. Let's see if we can get Kanan out of there. Kanan is gone. Now let's go for Hunter. We want to kind of basic our way to greatness here. We're not. We're gonna have to go for Hunter last. Uh, we'll save that till the next round. These dodges are killing me. They're killing me, you guys. 
All right, this looks like it's gonna work as long as Hunter doesn't do anything crazy right here. These assists are really helping, and that, I believe, is Range Trooper's unique ability. It's fantastic. It causes the Imperial Troopers to assist. We're going to look at that here in just a moment. All right, we got a pushover team. That's good. We need a pushover team to kind of get healed back up. Range Trooper, in his unique ability, power and numbers, he has a 30% tenacity while he's buffed. While he's active, Imperial Trooper allies have a 50% chance to call another buffed imperial trooper ally to assist when they use an ability during their turn so it doesn't have to be a basic it doesn't have to be uh, a special it's any ability during their turn so that's good to know we don't have to use basics to call basic assists i'm rusty you guys i'm having to read the kits to relearn stuff here all right let's uh throw an armor shred on Consular because he looks like he's the tankiest one. And let's try to get a nice hit over here. Hopefully we don't take a bunch of counterattacks. I should have thought that through. Yes, we did take a bunch of counterattacks. Alright, range trooper. Protection up. Excellent. Um let's go after Luminara. Look at that! Good damage, guys! Alright, let's get a little healing. Boom! Uh, no buffs to dispel, so we'll just use a basic. Now they're cooking! We just needed a pushover team, plus Aiden's uh, debuff that she puts out there is really nice. That's a really nice debuff. We took some counters because of it, but I think it was worth it. I think we're starting to get cooking with this team. Let's see if we can make it through the number six fight. This is fight number five. Ooh, Mace might present a problem. K2 might present a problem. Let's see how it goes. Biggs might present a problem because we're all Empire. And whenever Empire hits him, he gets a bonus turn, if I'm not mistaken. If I am not mistaken. Let's get in here and find out. All right, let's see if we can get Biggs out right now. He's nice and low gear. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, and Mace didn't taunt because Biggs had no protection. Let's go ahead and go after Mace next, because he's going to get in our way anyway. Another mass assist. Now we're talking. Let's take those buffs off. Beautiful. I think we're well in control of this. I don't think we need to do anything special. Um, let's go ahead and do the days, because that is only available... For a limited time only. Alright, with your counterattacks. Calm down over there. Calm down over there. Alright, I'm starting to see... I should mod... Veers with more speed. Aiden with more damage and speed. Just potency. She could do a lot more than just potency. She seems like she hits a good bit harder than some of the others. Okay, wow. We have a nice test for our Imperial Troopers. Look at this Jedi. Bast of the lead with the Zeta. So they're going to have a bunch of tenacity. How much tenacity is this? 200% protection up, 150% tenacity, and they deal 35% more damage. I'm calling it. I don't think the Imperial Troopers can handle this. I don't know if any of my teams can handle this, but we're going to give it a shot. We're going to give it a try. Let the Imperial Troopers have their fun. Because why not, right? Why not? This will be the last battle of this video. Man, look at all that protection. All right, Range Trooper, you're probably going to die here, buddy. I'm sorry to say. Let's go after Mace. We need to save our non-attack abilities for when Bastila has taken a turn. Because when Bastila takes a turn, they're all going to have legendary battle meditation and they'll be counter-attacking. We can't be having that. Armor Shred on Mace. We're going to get a bunch of turns and then we're going to start dying when they start getting turns. Ooh, those ability blocks are not good. Range Trooper, no! Oh, this is the... This is not a good situation. 
This is not a good situation. We've got ability blocks all over the place. I know! You were so young! Take all their buffs away! Good. I mean, we're not going to win this, but I just want to play it out a little bit. Okay, I don't want to play it out anymore. I don't want to lose my troopers. I don't want to lose my troopers. All right, let's try it with our... Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if we can get through this. I think we might have to sacrifice our Geos to try to make a... A key kill. I'm going to have to sacrifice our Geos. We're going to see if we can get through this in this video for you guys. If we can't... Then you guys know we got stopped again. We could always put some more work into our troopers. All right, basic to give Spice some turn meter. Let's go ahead and... Ch oh, that was stupid because of all the extra tenacity. Uh, let's call Soldier to assist. Get a critical hit. Give Soldier some turn meter. Soldier gets turn meter when he crits. Spy gets turn meter when Soldier uses his basic. It's kind of a match made in heaven. Let's go ahead and get a nice big hit over here on Mace! Oh, no crit. Let's get the taunt off of him. If we can kill Mace, then we might have a chance of killing Basti. They have a lot of uh, buffs. If I can get a good hit with Spy, then we'll be in good shape. Keep going after Mace. We don't want to take Mace's buffs off. Let's take Basilis buffs off. More tenacity down for Mace. Can we get... We need to get Spy back in stealth. That's fine. We lost Poggle. That's fine. <sighs> we don't want to take Mace's buffs. We want Spy to strip them off with his silent strike. So, just a basic. Soldier's gone. This is not... This is not boating well. Okay, taunt. Spy can use his silent strike, but he won't do any damage because it only... Uh, if Geodotion Spy is stealthed when this ability is used, dispel all status effects on himself and the target. We need to get him back in stealth. Okay, he, he, he goes into stealth when he crits. So let's go ahead and put this on Ahsoka. Getting some more speed going. We got a tank right now to taunt. Okay, we're just going to use a basic. Spy, we're ready. You're cooked and you're ready. Let's go. Can you kill Mace? Yeah, you could kill Mace. Okay, we got one kill. Now we're going to go after Basila. If we could take the leadership out, then we'll be in much better shape. So right now, Sunfak, in order to heal Sunfak, we need to hit somebody and dispel a buff. See, on his basic, if, Sun, if any buffs were dispelled this way, then he recovers 15% of his max health. Unfortunately, nobody has a dispellable buff on the field. Going all in on Basila. This ability won't do anything, so let's just use a basic. They have all that tenacity. There's no dispellable buff, so we'll just use a basic. Uh, let's put this on Old Ben in case he taunts. All right, there goes the first life for Newt, which is fine. All right, this will not kill her, but it will do some damage. Not much damage. Here's a dispellable buff right here, potency up. So we're going to go ahead and get a little healing from that. That's a beautiful thing. Let's get more speed cooking. We get more speed for everybody who's extorted. Um, let's keep going after Bastila. We can get a kill on Basila. This will all be worth it. All right, let's hit her so that we can heal a little bit. Come on, guys. That landed somehow. Holy moly. All right, let's put this back on Ahsoka. Uh, no dispellable buffs, so we're just going to... Oh, the, the tenacity is only while they have protection up. I'm sorry. I forgot about that. Okay, boom. Basil is gone. So this was a successful battle. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put it on auto. Hopefully they finish. If not, the Imperial Troopers can definitely come in and clean this up. And then the Basil the Jedi can take it from there. Whatever the Imperial Troopers can't do. 
But this has been fun testing out the Imperial Troopers. I need to put some more gear on them. Maybe another gear tier on every character would give me a lot more uh, survivability and damage. We need more damage so that we can keep that turn meter train rolling. With the Imperial Troopers, they get turn meter in two ways. One way from killing enemies, there's a chance that they can get turn meter. The other way is from uh, gaining buffs. Every time they gain buffs, they gain, I think, 10% turn meter. But that doesn't apply until the highest level of the ability. I am not high enough level to apply the highest level of the ability yet. So the only way I can get turn meter with my troopers is by killing enemies. So we need more damage. For no more damage, we need more gear. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for this video. We played with our troopers. We had some fun. Got them modded up with health mods. Who mods their Imperial troopers with health mods? But that's all I have at this time we got rank nine in fleet which i'm super excited about we're sitting pretty with the crystals and having a good time along the way don't forget i want you all to remember that jesus loves you <laughs> i'm about to hit the outro i hit the full screen we'll do the outro now